with the emission of the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide or CO2 it causes a change in the atmosphere which causes global climate change. The climate problem is not going to go away and we must do our utmost best to limit our emissions and impacts on the environment. However, it can be difficult to understand what a tonne of CO2 looks like as it is a transparent gas present within our air that we breathe. This episode will try to make CO2 more tangible and real so that you can visualise what greenhouse gas emissions look like from your daily perspective. Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery where we look at the successful strategies and tactics to master environmental management and sustainability. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. This episode will try to make one tonne of carbon dioxide become more tangible and real so that you can visualise what greenhouse gas emissions look like from your daily perspective rather than a term that scientists and politicians use without any real explanation. Rather than looking at climate change in terms of cost, in pounds or dollars, or energy use such as kilowatt hours, it is important to reframe our discussion on climate change by understanding the significance of carbon dioxide. What it looks like and how to visualise a tonne of CO2 and bring that visualisation to life by relating it to our everyday life. First, let's look at how big one tonne of CO2 is. There are various representations of one tonne of carbon dioxide as a sphere that is 11 metres high, well over the height of a typical London bus. Or has a cube 8.2 metres high on each side which is larger than a typical semi-detached house in the United Kingdom. Indeed, two tonnes of CO2 could easily fill up the two halves of a semi-detached house. With the UK average carbon emissions per person being about 13 tonnes, that means that a couple will produce enough carbon dioxide to fill the Elizabeth Tower housing Big Ben each year. If you're getting value out of this episode, please click on the like button. And if you want to see more environmental and sustainability videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell to receive updates on new videos. Now, let's relate the size of one tonne of CO2 to our homes and our everyday use of electricity and gas. So, one tonne of CO2 is equivalent to using 5,171 kilowatt hours of electricity, which could power a medium-sized terrace or flat for about a year and 10 months, or a bungalow or detached house for 15 months based on UK average electricity consumption. For the same one tonne of carbon dioxide, you could consume 495 cubic metres or 5,555 kilowatt hours of natural gas, which is the equivalent of 70% of the typical low consumption of gas or 30% of the typical high consumption of gas in the UK. Next, let's relate that same one tonne of carbon dioxide to our travelling, whether for commuting to work, at business travel or personal travel for the weekly shop or for holidays. Here, one tonne of carbon dioxide is equal to running a small petrol car, such as a Peugeot 107, Volkswagen Up, or Citroen 1 
driving for approximately 5,737 miles, which is about 85% of the average mileage of 6,800 miles per year in the UK. Or in a larger car, such as a BMW 5 Series or Audi A5 or A6, would be driving for about 3,556 miles, or just over 52% of the average UK annual mileage. You can see the benefits of an electric powered car, like a Tesla, as taking the same one tonne of carbon dioxide would allow for about 14,600 miles, giving about two years of low carbon driving based on the UK average annual mileage. Even better value is using public transport, such as the train, which would allow the same one tonne of carbon dioxide to provide for over 17,500 miles of train journeys, the equivalent of 107 journeys between Manchester and London. Although you can expect that domestic air travel in the UK would be worse at 2,527 miles for the same one tonne of carbon dioxide, giving only 15.5 Manchester to London journeys compared with the earlier train where you could get 107 journeys on essentially the same route. Outside of the home or travel, there are other ways to visualise one tonne of carbon dioxide. We can take a look at typical items such as a fire extinguisher found in our offices and factories. Here, one tonne would not be one fire extinguisher or even two, but would be 500 typical two kilogram fire extinguishers. That's an awful lot of fire extinguishers to equate to one tonne. Or it could look like 161,290 litre bottles of cola or other carbonated drink based on the average carbonation charge of 6.2 grams per litre. Or even a majestic 500 cubic metre hot air balloon floating about you in the sky. So far in this episode, I have covered what one tonne of carbon dioxide looks like. In this part, we will look at what it takes to remove carbon dioxide from our atmosphere using the most natural option of growing trees. To capture one tonne of carbon dioxide emissions, you would need to grow 50 new trees each year. With the latest figure for carbon dioxide emissions for the UK at 409 million, that would require around about 20,000 million trees to be planted each year, which would easily exceed the available space across the whole of the UK. Put into context, UK political parties have policies to plant between 30 and 100 million new trees in addition to the estimated 3 trillion trees already growing in the UK. You can quickly see that planting trees is not going to absorb the excess carbon dioxide produced in the UK each year. I hope that you are better able to visualise one tonne of carbon dioxide and relate it to your daily personal or business life. By now, you can quickly see that the best way to reduce our carbon dioxide emissions is to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels in favour of renewable energy, to travel less or on more efficient transport options such as trains or electric cars. And that is only a start. Further information on the visualisation of one tonne of carbon dioxide and other resources on environmental management and sustainability are given in the description box below, including a link to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. 
is this episode has helped you to visualise what one tonne of carbon dioxide looks like, please leave a comment in the box below if this video has helped you. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right, and to subscribe to this channel, click on the link to the left. Thank you.